I truly hate that man. Lark, you know Ma said we should never hate anybody. Larkspur's sister, Forsythia, third of the Nielsen daughters, spoke out of the side of her mouth, the way they had learned so as not to be heard by anybody else, especially in church. Forsythia had spent a good part of her young life trying to keep her older sister out of trouble. Larkspur refocused her attention forward, clenching her fingers in her lap to keep from leaping out of the pew. Deacon Weasel raised his Bible, the pages rippling from the force of his shaking. His voice nearly tore the hinges from the doors. Women, if you are indeed following God's word. Larkspur watched the red of his face deepen. Perhaps a heart attack? A stroke? You are ordered to submit to your husband's every utterance. God says so right here. The words thundered and spittle spattered the pulpit. If you are not married, your father is in charge. For too many of you, your mouth is your biggest sin. Little pig eyes slit nearly shut. He stared right at Larkspur as if daring her to speak. Lark returned stare for stare, knowing she was aggravating the deacon, but no longer caring. According to him, women should never raise their eyes. Only a downcast posture was proper. For Scythia laid a gentle hand on Larkspur's shaking knee, and Lark felt an elbow digging into her left side. Her sister Delphinium was only reminding her that were their mother here, she would be mortified by the actions of her eldest daughter. Surely she had taught her daughters better than to let their emotions show like this in church. But then Ma had never met Deacon Weasel, or watched him drive their dear Pastor Erling to his deathbed. At least Larkshore found it suspicious that the two men had gone for a buggy ride and only the deacon returned alive, lamenting that their pastor had died in an accident. But how had Weasel survived a runaway horse and Pastor Erling hadn't? And if their mother could see how the Weasel took out his furies on his wife. Lark glanced at Climby Weasel, cowering in a forward pew, bruised, bones broken, Terrified he would one day abuse their dreamed-of children, Climie made excuses for her husband whenever she and Larkspur talked. But they all knew that Climie had lost that last baby and those before because the deacon beat her so badly. When Weasel got liquored up, there was no stopping him. They all knew that, but their mother had gone on to heaven before Climie started taking refuge with the Nielsens when her husband went deep in his cups. Sadly, often not soon enough.